you know, what do teachers do? Well, yeah, if I wouldn't have been introduced to the concept of objectives, I might have had a hard time answering that question. Um, but, but with that concept, I was able to know uh, at least what I should be doing, what I should be seeking to do. If it wouldn't have been for that, I could easily imagine myself having no idea what to do, especially um, the concept of Bloom's taxonomy. Knowledge, and, and more importantly, the ability to use knowledge, builds upon itself. We take what we know about this, this knowledge building process that helps us to know where to start with our students. It helps us to uh, get a clear understanding of what we want to accomplish. The format that I was taught uh, here at Faith Builders and that I found very helpful was the student will uh, perform some action, uh, whether it be um, to uh, be able to repeat some information at the lowest level, to being able to um, evaluate um, material or analyze material, and uh, yeah, perform different actions that, that demonstrate that they have learned. Um, the student will do these things that then I can measure later on to see if I've been successful. But learning to, to write objectives uh, helped me in, as I was starting to teach um, to, to know what my goal should be, to have, have a plan as I started my day of school, as I started my lessons. And then uh, figuring out how I can help the student reach that goal um, helped to, to keep me focused. Uh, and know what my job was as a teacher as I was getting started. That's the start to accomplishing anything. Uh, you know, you don't, you, I guess you accomplish some things by accident, but not very much. Uh, so yeah, I, I knew what I was trying to do then, which, um, you know, it, it seems very simple and in a way it is, but uh, that's, that's where you have to start. It keeps you from from having to spin your wheels and you know generating a lot of activity um, without a purpose. Um, when I have objectives, uh, I'm not just doing things and hoping that some of them will be productive. Uh, I have a goal in mind and I can ask myself, what can I do in order to meet that goal? And I can focus on doing those things uh, instead of um, trying to figure out what to do and trying this and trying that without having any idea of what I'm doing. So um, it does uh, take effort to, um, to sit down uh, with the teaching materials I have, my textbooks, uh, other materials, and, and ask myself, you know, what do I want to accomplish here? So yeah, that, that certainly takes effort, but it's, it's more than worth it uh, in, in and focusing the efforts that I put forth and saving me the trouble of pointless activity. Talking about being a first year teacher, I think you should. Uh, if you have them there, then take them and run with them instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, I know that that's a mistake that I made uh, early in my teaching career was, um, was not taking advantage of the work that was already done by the curriculum publishers. Um, instead thinking that I could do it better. And turns out I couldn't, actually, uh, <laughs> in, in most of the cases at least. Now, as, as I've developed uh, in my teaching, then I start to gain um, a clearer sense of what I want to accomplish that might be different than what um, the curriculum publishers wanted to accomplish. Uh, it could be that um, I learn more about the context that my students are living in, uh, which might be different from the context that, um, that the curriculum publishers had in mind. And so I need to make adjustments accordingly. Um, sometimes they're wrong, you know, and I think, you know, I can say that, uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's my responsibility, actually, um, as a teacher, uh, when I... Um, when I have warrant um, to improve upon what's been done. It's my responsibility to do that. And um, I can do that with increasing confidence um, as I continue to gain knowledge and experience. Um, but uh, 
I, I should have done that more gradually and perhaps even still do it more gradually than I do. To start out, uh, use what you're given um, and then you can uh, modify and improve that as you gain experience and skill.